Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I got a new phone, a lot of um, things have been going on lately. So, I haven't been able to record in a really long time when it comes to reviews and stuff. And I just got a new little tripod and a little lighting going on. Sorry guys, just trying to correct. Okay. So my first review in a little hot minute. Ugh, driving me crazy. It's a little chilly in here, guys. Anyway, so my first uh, video review in a, a little hot minute is about Deep Blue C3. And um, so the thing about this one is, is that I really, really love the original Deep Blue Sea with Samuel Jackson, LL Cool J. It was a really entertaining movie. It was a really great shark movie. It used to be my favorite, actually. And I had such really great, fun memories of it. And then I heard a part two came out, and I didn't bother watching it. Had no interest in watching it because it was a direct-to-DVD kind of situation and I had so much fond memories of the first one that I didn't want to ruin it or taint it by watching some cheap knockoff rehash of the same one just with cheap special effects and everything. So, but then the store that I work at um, is selling Deep Blue C3. Well, the movie, unlike the second one, like flew off the shelf, kept fall, like flying off the shelf. People are buying it. It is kind of somewhat popular, so I decided to take a chance and watch it, and um, it was really a fun, entertaining movie. Um, some actors I actually know from different TV shows and other movies and stuff, so the acting was pretty decent in it. Um, it didn't have no cheap Sharknado stuff going on. Not saying that the actors in that are terrible or anything, but I just hate Sharknado at all. I, I never understood how it was an intelligent or smart idea for a group of executives to go in. It, it wasn't even fun. I watched the first Sharknado movie and it was terrible. Um, I didn't even... It wasn't even cheesy to the point that it was entertaining it was just terrible I never felt that it should have even been made I don't know why a group of executives would go in to a meeting and say oh yeah this is a good movie to waste money on so but this movie okay so this case <clears throat> this is one of those don't judge a book by its cover type of movies <clears throat> so this um, is kind of a rip-offy, cheesy, direct-to-DVD cover version of, like, a mix between, like, The Meg and Jaws. Um, but this is where it ends with the cheesiness. Uh, the movie is actually... So, here's the thing. I... And another review that I'm going to be doing is 47 meters down and uncaged, the second one, because I think I already reviewed the first one, which was really good. The first, um, 47 meters down, was a really great shark movie. It was really intense. The sharks looked real. The jumps were good. It was really great. The second one... I know that I'm doing a review about this, but I just want to, um, like, kind of explain my thought process behind my review. So, 47 Meters Down, incredible shark movie. Really great jumps, really intense. The actresses were really great. The ending was really shocking. It was really good from start to finish. Um... Obviously, it was released to movie theaters, had a big budget, it was really great. And then they followed it up with a part two, 
and it was also released in theaters, so I expected them to do at least semi-par of the first one and, you know, a unique storyline, maybe. Um, but nothing about the story was original. Um, the acting was was good in some parts, terrible in others. I mean, not terrible, but okay. So like eighty percent of the acting was good. Um, there was definitely room for an improvement with the quality of the movie. So the sharks looked real. Like it looked like they had filmed real sharks under the water, and animated the rest. Like. All of the shark attacks looked so fake that it looked like something that I would expect from Sharknado. Like, the sharks would look really good and really scary, and it would be really intense until the sharks attacked. And it literally ruined the whole effect of the shark attacks when they, you know. Um, one of the best ones, though, was when a shark was, like, lingering behind a guy really slowly, kind of like the Meg did with the glass before it chomped on it. Um... But anyway, so I expected more. I, I expected since they made so much from the first one and the first one was so great and the second one was getting released at theaters, I thought it was gonna be really great. Ruined my expectations um, a little bit on, you know, with the effects and stuff. The sharks in this movie, not only, first of all, this is a direct to DVD movie and it looks like it had a bigger budget than 47 meters down on caged the second one um, That's the point that I was trying to make was that This might have been a direct-to-DVD movie and this is a really cheap um, casing but um, It totally throws off throws off the viewers expectations, which I guess is good because you go into it expecting it to be cheesy or whatever, kind of like Sharknado. I mean, I don't, I haven't seen anything really as terrible as Sharknado in a really long time, so I can't even really say that. This case would be a Sharknado type of case. Like, it's a total ripoff, nothing original. It's a crossbreed, a terrible crossbreed between the Meg and Jaws. Looks very fake and cheesy. This, on the other hand, they look like real sharks, and they do look that real in the movie. Um, it is none of this crap, it is this. And they have, first of all, I'd like to point out that they um, combined um, world topics like um, global warming and endangered species and um, shark statistics and stuff like that and intertwine it with the um, story. The story is not entirely original or anything. It is way better than the story that they came up with that a different group of people obviously came up with for 47 Meters Down Uncaged, which was a theatrical movie. This is a direct-to-DVD movie. I expected this to be worse and the other movie to be better. This is way better. Um, way better. Um, this actually should have been released at theaters, honestly, because the, first of all, the story was solid. It was good. Um, it wasn't entirely original, but it was, um, the real life um, statistics and topics um, made it for a better quality movie. Um, and uh, just everything about this, the sharks looked way better. The jump scares were so much better because the fakeness of the sharks didn't ruin the impact of the attacks or anything. Um, I actually don't remember a single attack from the sharks that looked overtly cheesy where it took away your mind from being entwined with the story or the movie or whatever it is. Um, but, so, a few, so these are the actors. 
really cool. This guy is from the Vampire Diaries series and the originals. Um, and he is a really excellent actor. And so this lady right here is, I would say, I mean, I don't want to say marine biologist, but I mean, she takes care of the sharks and stuff like that. And she likes sharks over humans. Like she, she loves sea life more than humanity because humanity destroys the earth naturally and, um, pollution and of the just you know just global warming and all all of that kind of really dampers her um her outlook on humanity um so this even has a few shocking moments in it um when it comes to death scenes or survival or whatever the case is this is really good um i highly recommend this movie uh, this movie is so good that I might actually go back and watch the second one, even though a friend of mine, oh, well, not even really a friend, but somebody that I kind of know who loves the first one like I do and hasn't seen this one thought that the second one was terrible. So I might skip it, but um, I might have to watch it because... This one does, I believe, reference the first movie, um, and so there might be some references to the second one also. Um, I don't know because I don't know the timeline of the second one, and I don't know the story of the second one. But this one is really good, and I highly recommend it. Um, it is a really good quality movie, even though the case is totally terribly photoshopped um deadlier than ever yeah um and this actually doesn't even have to do with great white sharks either i believe that it's bull sharks yeah murderous bull sharks um so and i just want to read the synopsis just so everyone is on the same page <clears throat> On the Thailand island of Little Happy, <laughs> it's actually a really cool little town that they had built. It actually looks like a, a big movie set, actually. Um, Dr. Emma Collins and her team monitor a flourishing marine nursery where great white sharks come to breed. Um, their existence is interrupted when Emma's ex-boyfriend arrives in search of three murderous bull sharks. But these aren't ordinary sharks. Their mother, Bella, was genetically modified to be highly intelligent and dangerous. As their body count rises, it's clear that Bella's offspring inherited her killer genes, and if they manage to spawn, life as we know it may end. Get ready for the deadliest return to the deep blue sea yet. Now, that was a cheesy synopsis also. Um... So nothing about this case, regardless if it's on the front or the back, is inviting whatsoever. But in my opinion, it's way better than a lot of shark theatrical movies that I've watched or direct-to-DVD movies. Um, I was very pleasantly surprised um, about the quality of this movie. It's, I mean... I would watch it again and again because it was actually entertaining. It wasn't so cringeworthy. It had no Sharknado moments in it. Um, and there were no scenes where the sharks were so fake that it just pulled your mind back from not being engrossed in the movie, which is a terrible thing, especially when it comes to shark movies or creepy movies or anything like that. Now, it literally, I don't want to, it's not, I don't want to say it's a horror movie, even though I guess it's classified as a horror movie, um, because it does have so much story with it, along with the shark attacks. It's basically what would happen, 
not what what would happen, but it's basically um you have to watch it. I don't wanna like ruin too much or anything or give too much away. Um but it's not like other shark movies. It does stand out even being a direct D V D movie and um yeah, it's really good. Uh I even do have uh favorite characters in it. Um I just I, I really thoroughly was entertained and enjoyed it. It's not it had a little bit of horror, a little bit of action, a little bit of romance, a little bit of comedy, so the movie was all over the place. It wasn't just strictly gloom and doom all the time and it wasn't a crap fest. It wasn't a love fest where they were sucking up all on each other's faces until one of them died type of movie. It was none of those. It's too funny all the time to be creeped out or scared or even jump a few times. So it has a, a little combination of a little bit of everything and it flows. So I really do like that. There's no point where I was like, God, this is so boring. Let me turn it off or anything like that really so check it out deep blue c3 one to watch so until next time guys i have i'm gonna be doing a lot more reviews now because i have a better camera than i did last time i have a tripod lighting the whole nine yards <clears throat> excuse me once i get the speaker thing working then we'll be all set to go. So until next time, guys, have a great day. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel if you want to. And um, just leave a comment below to let me know how you felt about the movie, what your expectations were, um, if you hated it, if you loved it. Um, if you haven't checked it out, please do. And let me know what you think about it. So have a great day, guys.